And my daughter just looked at me dead in the eye and she was like, You're, you'd be an idiot not to do this. Yeah, I didn't have a stage mom, I had a stage daughter. I was like, okay, okay. There have been a couple of days, you know, cause this process has been really hard and I'd love to just, you know, say, oh, it's been so easy and whatever, but it's hard. Um, and I've always been honest about the hard things in life. And uh, there have been some days where I've just called her and, and cried about, you know, missing them, but also about the work just being really challenging. And she has been my rock. Like, yeah, some days are hard, but you'll get it, just hang in there. And um, so I'm very grateful to her and, and my son, because my son is a very uh, competitive baseball player. And I don't know how he goes out there and does what he does. And just to be able to look at my kids and say, well, they can do hard things. And if they can do hard things, I can do hard things. And what a great example to set for them to say, yeah, we can, it's hard and we could do hard things, but we can also uh, live in the moment and enjoy the opportunity and take advantage of the opportunity. You wanted the pink ball, why? Cause everyone's gonna see it. Hey, who's gonna see it? <laughs> you know, I tried to have them watch the pilot of who's the boss because I was like, this is how I was this young, you know, this is how long mom's been working. Uh, and they sat there for like 15 minutes and they were like, okay, cool, we're gonna go whatever, you know, we're gonna go game or draw or whatever. So um, it's been a, it's been interesting. Uh, and I'm very grateful that to them, it just kind of doesn't matter that I'm mom first. And also that they see me as an individual as well as mom, like someone that has dreams and that, um, and I think, you know, obviously there's a lot of mom guilt in life when you have kids. I think any mom watching this would be able to relate to that. But I think um, it is so interesting when they get to the point where mom is also a person. And I think the dynamic of the relationship, the relationship shifts so much. And the beauty of um, appreciating where it is right now um, has been really special. Like my son just turned 13, which is wild. My daughter's 10. And to not say, I try really hard not to say, well, you'll always be my baby. Because the truth of the matter is, and even if I feel that way, I don't know if it's necessarily healthy for them to think that I feel that way. I want them to know that I appreciate the people they are today and the people that they will be tomorrow. When does she arrive? Surprise! Found the hide key. Phoebe, welcome home. Um, probably not. I think there's, I think that that show meant so much to so many people um, and a lot of years ago that uh, I would just be afraid to, to mess it up in a way. And, and um, it's really good. I mean, my daughter just started watching some episodes and she's just loving it. Um, uh, but no, I think that that's behind me. Um, I'm, I'm obviously very, very sad for a number of reasons. Um, I have never shied away from the fact that it was an incredibly complicated uh, relationship, but I had a lot of admiration for her and who she um, is and was and her resilience and her fire and her tenacity, especially in the face of being so sick. Um, and so I think, you know, it's a great loss. I think, um, I hope that the people who are closest to her are uh, finding um, solace in, in the happy memories and that maybe she doesn't have to struggle uh, through an illness. Um, but yeah, it's, it's sad. It is sad and daunting and big, but also like 
it makes me really uh, appreciate health and and where um, that every day you wake up is a blessing. I went for two days and I sang and I danced and I did scene work and then I didn't hear anything for a couple of weeks and I was like, oh, I guess maybe this is not gonna work out. Um, and then I was in Cooperstown with my family for my son's baseball tournament and my daughter came over to me, my daughter who's 10, who does musical theater in our community. She came over to me and she said, Mom, you're going to Broadway. I was just like, oh my God. Just, I got so emotional because not only just to, you know, to, to go to Broadway, but to go to Broadway playing such an incredible, iconic character um, in such an incredibly iconic show uh, was really overwhelming. So, um, yeah, and that wasn't too long ago. It feels all like a whirlwind. And then we did this big family meeting where I was like trying to back out. I was like, I, you know what? I can't leave you guys. I can't leave you guys for two and a half months. That's just crazy talk. Uh, of course, all the mom guilt imaginable. Um, and you know, they were all like, we're gonna come visit you. We're gonna, we're gonna see you all the time. And my daughter just looked at me dead in the eye and she was like, you, you'd be an idiot not to do this. I didn't have a stage mom, I had a stage daughter. You know, the beauty of YouTube is you do a search and then all of a sudden you go down the rabbit hole, right? So I've been looking at Korean productions of Chicago, like there's all sorts. But the thing that remains the same is this incredible uh, choreography by Anne Ranking um, in, in the Fosse style. And um, I have, I think, an unhealthy obsession with Anne Ranking right now. And um, just everything that I've, all the research I've done has sort of led me back to her and her sort of belief that everyone who comes in and does Roxy should have their own interpretation, um, which is not a common thing uh, for Broadway shows. You know, quite often they want you to come in and they, they want you to look a certain way. And, um, and Anne Rankin's belief, her belief was that every actor should be able to bring their own uh, interpretation to the role, so that's what I'm doing. Um, that things are gonna get a little weird as you grow up, um, but no amount of worrying uh, is ever gonna change the outcome of your life, and sometimes the path is already set, and as long as you can evolve and grow, you might end up right back where you started from.